Welcome back guys to episode 4 of the Rebirth, the career mode that we started with Manchester United in an attempt to bring them back to their glorious days and to make a team that would be feared by other teams. So let's continue on. In the last episode we won the third game of our preseason tournament. And that was there was certainly an improvement in the game of Manchester United in the way they played. And unfortunately, we didn't reach the next uh, round of that tournament, of the preseason tournament. And we're looking forward to the beginning of the Premier League right now. And let's see who we can sign before the Premier League starts. We don't have a lot of money right now, but I think we're going to be able to sell some players and maybe sign one or two more players before uh, Premier League starts. So let's advance forward and see what's going to happen. Luke Shaw, we have an offer for him. This is great. And here, here I'm going to try to do something else because I actually want a player from Real Madrid if they don't want to sell that player to me, or I should say swap those two players, then I'll try uh, to ask for more money and we'll see how this goes. So let's start the negotiations. Okay, I want a player swap. We go to fullbacks and we choose for Lan Mendy. And I don't think we're going to be <laughs> giving any money in return. Uh, so let's do a new transfer fee, which is going to be zero. It's going to be a straight up swap deal. I don't know if it's going to work, so let's see. Okay, that didn't work, so we failed the deal, but let's move on. Lindelof couldn't reach an agreement with Sevilla, and that's not good for us, because we are not going to use this player, and we could have used money, but whatever, let's keep going. Okay, we have an offer for Diogo Dalot and they want to give us a player and to be a straight up swap and they were actually offering a little bit of money as well but I don't want that swap deal I'm not interested in that player and let's negotiate it and I think we can get around 30 million for Diogo Dalot so let's try to negotiate a deal and see if we can work this out. New transfer offer and we're gonna ask 30 million for him. And they offer another swap deal and I don't think this is gonna work so let's just reject it and move on. I'm not interested in those players that I offered. So let's keep going. And see what's gonna happen next. Okay, Lindelof gets another, we got another transfer offer for Lindelof from Piemonte Calcio. So let's just try and sell this player to them. 25.7 million seems like a good offer, so we actually going to accept that and move on. See if we can reach an agreement if he's gonna sign for them. We have Scott McTominay here. Leicester City are making a 37.6 million offer. So let's try to get a little bit more and see if it's going to work. Cuz 
because I kind of have an idea who I want to send next. Okay, 45 million. They, they think 45 million is way too much for him. So let's try 43. That is a good deal. Come on, that is a really good deal. Scott McTominay, a player that I don't think is Manchester United material. So let's keep on going and see what happens next. We have Phil Jones. We have an offer for Phil Jones. Victor Lindelof is sold. Scott McTominay is sold. So let's see Phil Jones. Phil Jones with a 73 overall at 29 years of age. I mean, we may not get a better offer, better offer for him. So I'm just going to accept that offer. And after we sold two players, so let's see what happens. Two players. And here's who I'm going to sign next. Next, I'm going to sign a player that I wanted to sign since the very beginning of this career mode. And that player is Usman Dembele from Barcelona. He might come a little bit cheaper because he has like one year remaining of, of his contract. So let's try a 55 million offer and see if we can buy him for that. And Marcus Rashford, actually, actually, that seems like a pretty good offer. So let's propose a new transfer fee of like 17 million and we can get a much better deal. Marcus Rashford, I don't think he's nearly as good as a smart Dembele. So, okay, let's, let's try another offer, 90 million, 19 million, okay, let's, let's try this, oh, that's really good, we're going to pay just 19 million and we're going to give them Marcus Rashford, but that seems like a really good deal. So let's negotiate the contract with him. Oh, this is going to be a really good signing if we manage to to sign a guy. Okay, he accepts the important role. Five years contract. Perfect. We're not going to be offering a release clause and he actually wants less money than he got paid in Barcelona perfect deal for us I mean there's no reason not to accept that this is just great and we have another great signing another guy who will make a huge difference I think to this team and Osman Dembele here is and I, I won't even hesitate to replace Jadon Sancho with him in the starting lineup. I mean, I think he's a way better player all around. So let's see. Diogo Delort is on the bench, but we're going to put Antonio Langa. And we're going to keep on going. And I think we have a little bit more money left, so let's see if we can get someone else to even further strengthen the squad. Okay, we have 56.88 million and we have 483,000 euro weight budget. So I think we're going to be able to sign on our player right now. And I think that another player should be Ferlan Mendy. I don't know if we're going to be able to sign him, but let's try. He 
here's what I'm going to try and do. And I, I think they want to look show, so here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to offer them 15 million, okay. And then I'm going to offer him, I'm going to offer them a look show, because I know that they want him. And let's see if this deal will go through. Oh, oh that's a lot of money that they want for, for this guy. I mean, I, I can do possibly 25 million and, and look show, but this seems like a lot of money. Okay, so let's try 35 million in loot show. I hope this this would work. <laughs> and they're not making any change on what they're asking. I mean, 39 million? Okay, 39 million in loot show. I mean, loot show, I wouldn't use him anyway, so. Ferland Mendy, he's 26 years old. I think he's way faster than Luke Show as well. We're going to see his pace after we sign him. He's going to be in an important role. We're going to offer him five years, a five-year contract. No release clause as well. This is a perfect thing for us. And let's try the salary here. Here we should make it 190,000. 1 million signing bonus and clean sheets 20 and another 1 million. And I think he should have no problem to accept that. Okay. This is great. So welcome to Manchester United for Lyman D. He straight up replaced Luke Shaw. This is great. This this way the Manchester United defense looks significantly different. And right now we have a few more places where we can improve that squad before the beginning of the season. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it before the beginning of the season. We don't have much more money left. Diogo Dalo, he, they offer us a swap deal plus payments. I don't think we're gonna accept that. I want like 30 million for him, and I don't want that exchange later. So let's try. Let's try if they're gonna agree to that. 30 million. Okay, they didn't accept that, but whatever. We're gonna keep going. Harry Maguire. Oh my god. But they offer us some player that might not be such a bad deal. This Mohamed Kudus, from what I no is a talented player and Harry Maguire is not exactly a very good and Kudus I, I think I think a straight up swap deal and I'm gonna accept that because I honestly I don't think there's a player that would be a worse choice than Harry Maguire uh, so if, if we can get a good deal here, straight up swap deal, okay, we have a deal. We have a deal and we, we're going to have another talented player here. Muhammad Kudus, he's going to be rotation I think 
or a prospect. I mean, come on, let's put them as a rotation. Three years, okay, that seems reasonable for him. 76 overall, no release clause. And given the fact that he is a young player, we, we may as well give him 20,000, half a million signing bonus, and for appearances. 20 appearances, he's gonna get another half a million. And he thought that this was an insulting offer. I mean, come on, man. Insulting, it is way better than what he had. So, the good news is that we get to keep Harry Maguire. This is amazing. A player that I wanted to sell first, but unfortunately he's still at the team. He's a great captain. Recently I watched a video of him not knowing where the team... should stand in the tunnel. Harry Maguire, my god, I mean, I mean, they want to sign him because he's running out of a contract? We can actually lose him for no money? Terrible. This is, this is absolutely terrible, Manuel Lanzini. West Ham are offering us Manuel Lancini plus 8 million for Diogo Dalon. But I don't think this is a good offer, honestly. We're going to remove the exchange player and we're going to ask for 30 million. And I don't know if they're going to give us that. Aaron Cresswell. I don't, I don't want this guy either. I mean, I don't know what they're trying to achieve here. I'm not gonna let my player go for a player that I don't want. Okay, but a 25 million plus 3% from a future transfer and we have a deal. This is great. And let's see what we can do about the Harry Maguire situation. This is a really funny one because we may have to offer the guy a new contract. Where is he? he here he is. Transfer listed. Let's negotiate a contract with him, and I'm going to negotiate a contract with him, but I'm not going to take him out of the transfer list, and he's actually willing to accept a rotation as a role <laughs> to be a rotation player. I mean, come on. No extension. So he still has three years remaining of his contract. So that was a bit of a pointless move from us. I mean to to, to just increase his salary a little bit, but let's let's just say that we move on. We have two more players sold, Matic and Delart. They're sold and, okay, Popova here. We get another offer for him. He is worth 77 million possibly, but I don't want that uh, swap deal. Again, they're offering a swap deal and I don't want that. And besides, I don't think they have any players that I would want. 
but here's what I want. 77 million would be a nice offer for him. Hakan Chauhanugu, I mean, I'm, I don't want that guy either. So 75 million for Popo Bam might not be a bad offer. And I'm not going to accept that deal. So let's reject it and move on. Phil Jones. Phil Jones to go on loan. I mean, I'm not going to be giving him there on loan. At LJ, I want to sell the player. We have 48 million budget, so let's see if we can sign someone else. So here's something else that I'm going to try. I, I don't know if it's going to work, but I think it's worth trying. So let's check this out. I'm going to try to sign a player that I really think has a really, really good potential, Erling Holland, and I'm going to try to use Cristiano Ronaldo as part of that deal. So let's see if this is going to work. I don't know if it's going to work, but hey, it's worth trying. Okay, so a player swap, strikers, Cristiano Ronaldo is 45 million. And let's propose, no, 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 we're not proposing another exchange player, but we're proposing a fee, a transfer fee of 15 million plus Cristiano Ronaldo. And they don't accept that offer, unsurprisingly. And to me, it's not an option. Besides, I already signed Osman Dembele. So let's let's try someone for the middle. Someone who would replace Fred. So let's see if we have first team quality players here. Let's see if we have another idea for someone. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe sign Bernardo Silva I think is going to be way too expensive. Yeah, he's definitely way too expensive, so... But I think, I think I know who I might want to sign if he's not too expensive as well. A player who is really young, who is really talented, who is the future. Pedri from Barcelona. And I don't know if they want some player from our team, but okay, we don't have enough money. But here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to offer them Paul Pogba. I don't know if, if they're going to be willing to accept such an offer. But maybe it's not such a bad idea. And they, they want 91 million plus Paul Pogba. I mean, I'm not willing to do that. I don't have enough money to do it anyway. Uh, so let's try... 60 million. I mean, that, that's a lot. Let's try 60 million, okay? 60 million. Let's try 60 million. And let's see if this is going to work out. No, no that, that deal is not going to go like that. And he's way too expensive right now for us. So, who else we should try to sign? I don't know, maybe... Maybe we should try to sign... 
maybe we should try to sign some other player but who should that be or let's say let's say someone from Real Madrid for example or I have another idea I, I don't know if this is gonna work Federico Valverde might work he has a good potential. He's certainly going to be better than Fred. No doubt about it. Aurelian Chouamini is another player who we might try to sign. Let's try, let's try first this guy. I'm gonna offer them 60 million, I don't think this is gonna be enough. Oh, and they want Vinicius Jr. I mean, come on. You can't be serious, guys, with that. I'm not gonna give you Vinicius Jr. for, for this guy. Honestly, I don't know what got into them to believe that such a deal might be agreed. Okay, 65 million. We're not going to be able to afford them as well, so let's move on. Let's move on. Frankie de Jong would be way too expensive from Barcelona as well. So let's try Federico Valverde. Really, for, for real, let's try him. And I'm gonna offer them Fred as a player, as a player, as a part of the swap deal, actually. Swap deal plus transfer fee of like 15 million. Fifty-five million. Let's try fifty-five million. Oh no! I mean, I mean, this is not very good. The negotiations are not going very good, so we're not going to be able to sign him as well. And let's just end the negotiations here. I don't know. I don't know who else I should try. Maybe I should just wait to sell someone else and then try and sign someone else. We actually have an offer for Fred, which is good. We're gonna ask AC Milan are offering us 22.9 million, but we're gonna negotiate that deal and we're gonna have some more money, hopefully. So let's try 30 million for Fred. That would be a really good amount of money. Okay, this is perfect. We reached a deal. We reached a deal and let's keep going. Fred is sold Harry Maguire. <laughs> Chelsea offer just 28 million for this guy. Come on, man. 28 million. I mean, given how good he is, 28 million is not that bad of a deal. But let's ask for 40. Let's just try this. Oh, 31.2 million. I mean, 
let's make them 33 million and this is gonna be perfect if you agree with that and that's that's perfect we actually are gonna sell him too and Harry Maguire <laughs> if we get rid of this guy I mean this is gonna be something else we need to sign someone in, in the middle of the field Who, who should I sign? Chumini, Federico Valverde Pedri. I mean, we can try again to sign Pedri, but maybe, maybe we're not going to be able to. And Chumini might be a good option. He's certainly going to be cheaper. Federico Valverde is a good option as well okay so let's offer 70 million for Federico Valverde 70 million we're definitely not giving you Vinicius Junior uh, okay I'm gonna improve that offer to 72 million but, but that's my final offer Okay, 70, 70, 70, 73 million. Seventy five million? I'm not sure if this is a good offer. It's gonna be a good deal. Okay, seventy five million. Okay, but let's try Padre as well. I don't know if this is going to be a viable option, Pedri, but Pedri with 80 million for Pedri. Oh my God! No, that that's way too far. I mean, we're not going to be able to sign him. Chuamini, we we might as well try him as well. a mini for 60 million we're not giving you Vinicius Jr. again I mean everyone seems to want Vinicius Jr. but we're not giving this player okay 65 million so which one is a better deal Chumani or Valverde I mean, I think Federico Valverde is a better deal from the two players, but let's try something else as well. I want to try this again. I want to try again to sign Erling Holland. 90 million, okay. Okay, 90 million plus a striker, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh my God! I mean, they they, they don't know what I want. I, I mean, I I could possibly sign Kylian Mbappe for that. Let's let's try Kylian Mbappe. Why not? Why not? Kylian Mbappe is a really good choice, actually. So let's try. This may sound a little bit crazy from me to try, but I don't know if it's crazy. We're going to find out right now. Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. So let's see this guy. One of the world's best. And I don't know... <laughs> If, if we can reach an agreement, he's possibly way too expensive for us. Oh my god. According to this, he's going to be worth anywhere between 
246 million and 351 so I'm not even gonna bother to try and besides we need someone for the middle of the field so Federico Valverde it is then we're gonna negotiate a contract with him important player sure thing five years no release clause perfect and let's see if we can actually okay offer him 190,000 1 million signing bonus appearances 20 appearances another 1 million let's see if he's gonna accept that reasonable offer perfect this is perfect we have Federico Valverde as well and I don't know unfortunately for us we, we don't seem to have a really good we don't seem to have a really good no a really wide squad a really good depth of the squad so to speak and I don't know if, if we can fix this I mean the starting lineup right now looks way better than it was before Harry Maguire is so totally too many we're, we're not even gonna negotiate with him Harry Maguire is so we have 46 million let's see let's see if we if we change the balance here the wage budget goes to three three hundred two hundred ninety four thousand sixty one million is what we have sixty one point seventy five and I don't know who we should sign for the bench this seems like a really good team maybe we're going to change the places of Pogba and Valverde here and that seems fine okay so who else should we try to sign I don't know what about Aurelian Chumani he might as well be an option why choose between two players when you can have both of them this seems like a really good thing I mean come on and he should we should be able to sign him we should be able to okay so 80,000 1 million signing bonus appearances 20 and another 1 million here and let's see so we have a deal as well for this guy and now we have a really really good spot really good squad a really good squad we have so let's keep on going we're really close to the start of the Premier League and see how this new team is going to perform 3.4 million for Phil Jones we definitely accept that and let's try let's play that first game or maybe we should play the next time so guys I think we're gonna stop here for now this is gonna be everything for episode 4 and I hope you like this episode we've made some really good signings in this episode
we've improved the Manchester United squad seriously right here and I hope you liked it if you have liked it leave a like share subscribe and I'll see you next time in episode 5